Hello once again, I'm Daryl and welcome to my channel Kiwi Adventure. Well, I've been away for a while, I've had a bit of a rough year, uh, no rougher than anyone else but it's been frustrating for me. I had that big breakdown, it cost me a lot of time and energy and other stuff that goes with time and energy like money. Anyway, uh, the bike is back, it's mint, it's all new, I've done two and a half thousand K on it and I have um, put some fresh rubber on the back, brake pads all around, engine oil change, filters and the uh, oiled foam filters inside there and, and I've tried the new Moscow V80 reckless as they say it's a play on words it's a play on reckless I believe but uh, I've also got something else that will make our trip very interesting and getting back to what's been going down I've had a major lifestyle shift and it's been a major one and of course uh, out here I've got to use Starlink and I had a few problems getting it up and running and of course uh, I didn't get the editing done that I wanted to so now I'm going to have to wait until I get back from the South Island with a whole pile more but hey I not a complain so tomorrow morning tomorrow morning at half past six if all goes well and I can get the gear I need to get in. I haven't finished packing yet, I've only brought the bike out here for the purpose of what I'm doing. So if all goes well, I'll get down there and uh, cross the ferry and I'll stay at the in Picton and then next day I'm going to ride down to Fairley for a pie. No, not really. I'm going down to the dusty butt, but you can bet I will have a pie. And I've got a three day event, it's 1400 kilometres, and I'm hoping to give it a thrash. I'm not hoping to carry all that gear around while I'm doing it, of course, but uh, we'll see how it goes. And then when that's done, I'll start my um, four weeks down in, in the South Island at Oda Matata. And I'll spend six days there and um, hopefully I'll meet a couple of friends and we'll share the riding and the rest you'll have to wait and see. But I can assure you this is going to be some good stuff. Rain kicked in 30 clicks into the ride on State Highway 2 and didn't ease off until I crossed a very windy saddle road on the way down to Ashurst. However, when the Kapiti coastline down south came into view, things started looking up. Fine but extremely windy weather greeted me in Wellington and my suspicions that the wind might jeopardise the ferry crossing were correct. My 1pm crossing was cancelled, so I rebooked onto the 2am ferry and Bluebridge stuffed it up. I was placed first on standby, but I wouldn't know if I gained a seat until they started boarding. So, the pressure was on right up to the last moment. 
With 16 hours to fill in, I idled through Wellington CBD to Oriental Parade and its relaxed Sunday crowds. On the way around past the airport, I turned left and stopped for a couple of hours at Point Haswell, just past the Massey Memorial. Of all the many bays, Point Haswell was the only one out of the wind. I continued trickling around the bays, exploring and enjoying the no hurry situation I was experiencing, to the last bay and the end of the road at Alhito Bay and the closest to the South Island. I ended up at Haswell Point again after doing all the bays again on my return from Ahito Bay and still had eight hours to fill in before the 2am ferry departure. And if you've got nothing better to do, Google the stats on that. It's the same length as three rugby fields. Much to my relief, I gained a seat on the 2am sailing. And the bikes went on first, which enabled me to pounce on a sofa in an empty, quiet room. You can imagine my surprise when I woke up. I was surrounded by recumbent bodies everywhere. Lewis and I departed Picton at 6am, relaxed knowing we had time in hand to enjoy the 500 kilometre ride to Fairley. We planned to meet up at Fairley early next morning to start the first day of the dusty butt ride. The ride to Fairley was uneventful with great weather all the way. I didn't take many photos, but getting closer to the Mackenzie country was amping up my anticipation big time. Crossing the Opihi River into Fairley, I saw the river we cross tomorrow was only two or three hundred millimetres deep. I've heard a few horror stories of guys drowning their bikes in the first half hour of the dusty butt. And my lodging for the night. Cabin 3, that's my one for the day. And it's 2 o'clock. I left at 6. So it's 8 hours. Well, here I am in Fairley. It took me from 6 o'clock till 4 o'clock to get here. I got 3 hours sleep in the assembly at uh, Blue Water at 2 o'clock this morning we departed and there were bodies everywhere lying down on the floors sleeping everywhere but um, in the heart of Mackenzie country but anyway 
this is the hub where it all happens once a year the the dusty butt and uh, I'm actually heading up to the hotel up the road up there that's it up there um, for a meet and greet Most probably just lost a life somewhere, so it's tracing it back to where it starts. But he said, you know, Thank you. Wow. How are you doing? Not too bad. <laughs> It'll never happen. <laughs> After everybody was fed and watered, it was time for the final briefing, and we all received a starter kit, including a cool t shirt and sticker, which was paid for by our entry fee. Uh, now don't forget that it will be a school day, so around at 8 to 9 o'clock there will be kids and buses and things on all the country roads, so just be aware of that. Uh, and a, far, a lot of farm supplies will be working as well. So uh, next I'd like to say a big thanks to our sponsors, which is Krieger Luggage and Hooker Honda. Was your name Steve? <laughs> Andrew Tullock. <laughs> Tim Steenikin. <laughs> it was time to head back to our lodgings to grab some sleep, ready for the big day.